Okay. That's pretty good. So we've got to come up with a show name. I'm notoriously terrible at this. Um, hmm. We had a series that I was in called Innovate Ted, and I could never say it right. Inno innovate. Anyways, so we need a we need a show name okay. for what we're doing. What do you What do you got? Yeah, I got nothing. I am really not a creative person. Okay, let's think about this. The Mike and Sue show. The Sue and Mike. Schmike. No, not good. <laughs> or Moo. No, not Moo. good either. No. <laughs> Uh... So what we're talking about is what teachers can use with Chromebooks and with Google Chrome mm -hmm. very easily in their classrooms or in their professional practice. Right. So we should call it... But what if I want to branch out and say walk through how to download the audiobooks? Overdrive. And can they do that in a Chromebook? Sure. And it still works. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm stretching. We'll come up with a show right. name. We have okay. no, sh no show name. This is just episode one. Okay. All right. So the deal is that Sue and I will meet and we will share some cool things that educators can use on Chrome and on Chromebooks. And for now, we're kind of sticking around with Google Apps. Okay. Right? But we will branch later. out. Okay. We'll branch out to, to other yeah. things. Yeah. So we each made a video without talking to each other about a, uh, a Google app. Mm -hmm. And we're going to watch Sue's video first. I have not watched it. I didn't. Really? No, I didn't. Oh. And um, then we're going to watch mine, which I redid three times. By the way, so you were saying. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Today I'm going to share a couple of quick tips on how to save and organize files in your Google Drive. We're going to use the assumption here that this test doc is one that I know I want to get to in the future, so I'm going to want to save it into my drive. And not only that, I actually want to save it into more than one folder in my drive. Say, for example, it's a document that I would use in more than one class. So I'm going to open it in Docs, and here it is. I'm going to click on Add to my drive, and then I want to organize it. If I don't already have a folder created, I could create one now. But for today, I'm going to save it in the 2018-19 folder. So I click on that and click on the blue button that says Move. Going to that folder, here it is. There's my test doc folder or document. And I can see, looking under the details for this, that it is, in fact, in the 2018-19 folder. I can see it there. I can also see it up here. But I saying before that I want to share it into more than one folder. So here's the keystroke combination you want to remember. It is Shift Z. So as long as I have this document clicked and then type Shift Z, this window comes up. And now I can click on the arrow to go to my drive and choose a different folder and click on this green Add button. And now clicking on my document title, there we go, you can see that it's shared both in the 2017-18 folder and the 1819. If I decide at some point that I don't need it in both folders and I want to just get rid of it out of this folder, you can just remove it by clicking the X. I hope this has helped. Please see me if you have any questions. I have to say, I did not know about the keystroke thing. Really? I didn't. I did not know that. So how did you do it before? Uh, I it think I think there was a way in, in the file menu. There used to be. There used to be, and then they, they did they take, take it away? They've totally taken it away. Oh. Unless I'm wrong, and if no, so, no. somebody please point it out You're to me. You're probably cause... right. Google just does that. They just yeah. they just disappear things. And every time I have to go and Google yeah. how to save something in more than one folder. So hopefully I'll now can just Google myself. So this is handy for like I know at the high school they have a common folder, and occasionally somebody could accidentally remove a document from that shared folder. They could thinking that they're just putting it in their own folder, but they're actually removing it. So this is a handy way for them to continue to do that. And a document you might use in more than one unit. I'm impressed. Yeah, absolutely. Great job. Thank you. All right, now we'll watch mine, um, which I redid three times. Um, so this is Google Keep, and I just talk a little bit about it, but an important note 
that I didn't really mention in the video. Now on updated G Gmail and Google Docs, on the right hand side, you will see icons for Google Keep and Calendar and a few other things. So it's just another way to access it. Hi, I'm going to talk to you about a little known tool called Google Keep. It is within your Google account. So you all have it and you have access to it. And it's a super helpful note taking system, much like Evernote or something like that. So you would start by going up to the, your handy grid up here and you would click, you would scroll down until you see Google Keep. Click on that, it takes you over to Google Keep page. You see, I have a note here saved already. Get rid of that. So in Google Keep, you have a lot of options. You can take notes, you can set reminders, you can create labels for the notes that you make, you can archive and trash and do all sorts of things, but let's take a look at a note. So when I start a note, I've got a couple of options. I can do a checklist, I can add a picture, or I can even draw an image. So if I were to draw an image, you can do this right on your computer or your phone or your tablet or whatever, I can draw a picture. I have all these tools up here, and then I can add it to my note. I can start a title for my note. Uh, today's list. Let's say I want to make it a checklist. So I'm going to show checkboxes. Call Ryan Harity. And you can call him later. Uh, pick up dog. Um, read books about curriculum. I can make that list and when I close it, I now have a checklist that I can check off whenever I'm done something. And it goes into my completed bin so I can keep track of it. Now I can set a reminder at any time. I can share this with a person. I can change the color of the notes. So I like to color code my notes so that I keep track of them and I can find them easily. I can add pictures, I can archive it, I can do all of these things with it. But this is one of the handy ones. So you know how sometimes you start taking notes at a meeting and you think it's just going to be a couple of notes, but then it turns into a bigger document? You can click Copy to Google Docs, and it will become a Google Doc. Pretty cool. Another thing that you can do, you can take a picture of text. So if you wrote something on a whiteboard and took a picture of it and put it into notes, you can grab the text from that image. It will take a look at the picture with the words in the picture, and it will translate it into text below or in your Google Doc. Pretty slick. So overall, it's just a neat way that you can share notes and take notes. And it's super organized. And like I said, it's actually connected to your Google account. You can now see it in Google Docs to the right, um, any Google application you're in. You can sync this with your phone or your mobile device. Super slick, super handy. Check it out. And the fact that it can copy to Google Drive or Google Docs. Yeah, it's it's easy. And that's that's just one example of when I've done it. I've, I know I've started taking quick notes in a meeting, and I think it's just going to be a few things. It turns into a bigger thing, and I want to share the doc with people. Mm -hmm. So then I just click copy to Google Docs, and it becomes a Google Doc, and then I can share it with the people in the meeting. Awesome. Super handy. So yeah. I, I think those are two pretty solid apps that we did there. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know if you wanted to make this a little competitive or not. We could try. We could, we could try. That, that suggests <laughs> that I would never win, but um, no. maybe next time we'll... That's we'll it. it's, it's suggesting that people might actually vote. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. Maybe next time we'll, we'll make it a little competitive, but okay. for now. Um, so we'll have a little bit more information about both these things on the post so that you can check it out and give these a try. Give us feedback about videos too, whatever you want to see, you know, competitions, costumes, I don't know. Um, let us know um, what we can do to help. So there you go. Thanks.